Hey everyone, are you dealing with head tension, brain fog, pain behind the neck or behind the eyes and ears? Whew, that could not be fun. Well, I'm going to show you a stretch that hopefully will help alleviate some of the pain and the stress associated with the head and the sinus. So please attempt this stretch if you still have mobility in your neck. And if you're interested in videos like this, give it a like and subscribe because there are plenty more videos which will help find relief of the head and neck. I will see you on the inside. Hey everyone, welcome back to Holy Stretch. My name is Francis Eve and I will help you release head and neck tension. If you have sinus infections or pain and stress behind your eyes and your ears, just this whole crown chakra area or third eye area, we are going to massage and stretch these areas, all right? So if you're interested in videos like this, please hit the subscribe button below and let's get started. All right, I'm going to show you a first part. This is going to help prep you for the mat work. So first, you want to interlace your fingers together. You want to relax your neck down as if you have a magnet from the crown of your head down to the floor or down to your knees. The hands are going to come right behind the occiput, which is the bottom of the head and the top of the neck. You're going to bring the hands to this area here and allow gravity to pull your neck down. Gravity. So there's no force here. You're just melting down keeping the elbows drawing in. That's it. Just allowing gravity to pull down, pull that head down. Excellent. Now we're going to use resistance stretching within the stretch. And what that looks like is you're just going to do the same thing, but you're going to start activating the muscles behind your neck. All right, so I'm pulling down and I'm lifting up my neck up into my hands. I'm keeping the same pressure of gravity in my hands so my neck gets a bit of a workout here. Pulling down, relaxing. Now pushing up into my hands, allowing the neck to come up and then gravity pulling the head down. That's it. Lift the neck up, push up, and relax the head down. One more time. Lift, contract, and head comes down. Each time you should get a little bit deeper neck down. All right? This time we're going to move it to the mat. So go ahead and bring yourself to the mat, same position, but this time you're going to be on your knees, hands interlaced, come down on your elbows to start, and you're just going to feel what the pressure feels like on the top of your head. So go ahead and drop the head down, relax the neck, push the crown of the head gently into the mat and place your fingers where they were before, right behind your head. Now what you're going to do is you're going to gently you activate those muscles in the back of your neck to push into your hands and then relax. Push and relax. As you relax, you can roll your neck a little bit. But your hands are really here to be used as a fence. So they stop your neck from over rolling and you injuring yourself. Your hands are here to protect your neck. Okay, so keep them protected, keep them tight. Roll the head forward, press into your hands, and then relax. Roll. Press the neck into your hands, and relax. Roll. Press up and relax a little. Good. 
That's great. Now let's try using angles, like the right and left, to uh, massage other parts of your scalp. So instead of just the top part, we're going to massage also the left and the right hemispheres. So bring your hands together behind your neck. We're going to press neck into the hands, then release the tension and roll to the left, over the crown, back down to the forehead. So we're getting the top of the forehead now. Press your head into your hands, roll it to the left, and relax past the crown to the top of the forehead. Again, head press into fingers, roll to the right, and relax it down, keep rolling past the crown to the top of the head. Push head into the fingers, relax it, roll to the right, and all over crown back to the forehead. So you can do this a few times. I recommend that you do it very slowly, and my voice is changing. <laughs> so we can definitely make a lot of changes with just a few moves. But I would definitely recommend going very, very slowly because then you'll really start to open up different parts of the scalp and release those parts that haven't been touched, right? So when we're leaning to the, the left or the right, you're just moving the, the left part of your scalp over the, the mat as opposed to right in the center, right? Or the right part as opposed to right in the center. Make sense? Okay. So now we're going to activate the third eye or, pre or release tension in the forehead. So what that looks like is, same thing, put your head into the mat. Now you're gonna roll onto your forehead. Your fingers come up to the back of your head and just like gravity, push your forehead into the mat. Now you can come up and do the rolls so push your head up into your hands, keeping your hands in the fence, and roll onto your forehead, releasing tension in that forehead. That's it. Nice little roll up, and press down. Press. If you lift your elbows up, you get even more pressure on that forehead. And you release all the stress in the top of that forehead. Release third eye pressure. Release the neck. That's it. And gently come up. Give yourself a couple of neck rolls to release all of that we have work. Great job. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, then please feel free to leave a comment. I would recommend do try these exercises and stretches only if you have some mobility in your neck. If you have a stiff neck, then we can do a video on that. But for these ones, you want to have some mobility to be able to stretch even deeper. So if these are exercises that you're interested in, then go ahead and subscribe to the video, and I will see you in the next one. I love you guys. Take care.